Good day everyone. This is for CS212 data structures class. The topic is hashing and I will just talk about the answers to the questions during our graded oral recitation. Question number one, what is hashing? What is it for? And what is it not for? So hashing is an implementation of hash tables. Similar with binary search trees, it is a technique for performing insertions, deletions, and finds, but in a constant average time. Hashing, however, does not support operations that require any ordering information among the elements, like if you want to find the minimum element or the maximum element among the bunch, or print the table in sorted order, then hashing would be inappropriate for those operations. Number two, what is the ideal hash table structure? What is the key typically made of? The ideal hash table structure would be an array of some fixed size that will contain your keys. And a key could be an integer or a string with an associated value. An example of a key would be a name of an employee with the associated salary information as its value. Number three, what is a hash function? What does it do to a key? A hash function is simply a mapping that ensures that any two distinct keys get different cells. So when applied to a key, a hash function produces an index value that will be used to map the key in the hash table. Number four, Name some problems that a programmer has to deal with hashing. So problems include choosing a hash function, deciding what to do in the case of collision, and of course, deciding on the table size. Number five, what is the standard hash function? Cite an example where it becomes inappropriate and how would you resolve it? The standard hash function is what we call the division method which is equal to the key modulo the table size. So this becomes a bad choice when the table size, for example, is 10 and the keys all end in zero. It's because in that case, all the keys will have the same index and thus you will have a lot of color shots. So to resolve this, just simply ensure that the table size is always prime. Number six, give one bad hash function and one good hash function when the keys are strings. An example of a bad hash function is one that uses only the first three characters in the string. So this is considered a bad hash function because we know that English is not random so when you select only the first three characters in the string, chances are you get only a, a limited hash values as your result. Okay. Whereas a good hash function is one that involves all the characters in the strings and then bit shift it by five. So with this, um, you, get, you get a higher chance of coming up with a different hash value and it will give you a very good distribution in your hash table. Number seven, what is a perfect hash function? Is it possible to have a perfect hash function? So a perfect hash function is one that maps each key into a unique location in the hash table. Yes, it could be possible to have perfect hash function if you if you know all the keys in advance. Number eight, what is collision? Demonstrate by showing an example. A collision in a hash table is a phenomenon that occurs when a hash function maps two different keys to the same index. So an example would be inserting keys 6 and 16 in your hash table of size 10. So using the standard hash function, 
uh, 6 modulo 10 will give you 6. So, you put 6 here, and that will be your first hash key. Then, if you map 16 in your hash table using the standard hash function, you'll end up getting the same index value. So, you can see that index 6 is already occupied, and that is your collision there. Number 9. How does open hashing or separate chaining solve collision? Show an example of performing an insertion operation. So, open hashing or separate chaining or simple chaining solves collision by keeping a list of all elements that hash to the same value. So, for example, again, if we insert keys 6 and 16 in our hash table using chaining, so as you can see in our hash table, there is another data structure, which is a linked list. So if you insert 6 using the standard hash function, you get index 6. So you just add it as a node, okay, by putting 6 here, okay. So if you add 16, again, you'll get the same index value, which is 6, then just append it to your linked list and put 16 there. So that's how chaining or open hashing works. Number 10. In open hashing or separate chaining, how does it deal with duplicates during insertion? So the technique is similar with binary search trees. Uh, you just simply keep an extra field, field I mean, which will be incremented in the event of a match. So you don't actually need to insert the duplicate in your hash table, but just simply increment that field that keeps track of the duplicates.